safe market. Uh, this is a health food store, okay? It's located by my house in Butler. I'm excited. And uh, Mr. Dutch, you want to show a little picture of the place, what it looks like? Uh. Right? Going over, eating healthy. Route 23. Route 23. Right. Beautiful oh. Route 23. So, all right, we're, we're all going in. And here we go. All right, here we go. All right, put it on. That's you guys. Mr. Boone, I eat mostly plant-based. Okay. Um, so I'm not a vegetarian or vegan, but I do like to try the Beyond sausage and yeah. the Beyond burgers. They are delicious. Yeah, no, I've had these as well. And actually, my son likes them. Um, the, you know what it is? It's the season, seasonings and the flavor that they put in it to make it taste almost like you're eating regular pork sausage almost. Great. You know, it is really good. And it's a lot healthier for you, obviously. Um, they also have uh, plant-based ground beef, plant-based bratwurst. Doctor, I know you like bratwurst. I do. So I don't know about plant-based bratwurst, though. Uh, it tastes... Just like you were eating regular bratwurst, like the it. And then we have some of the other uh, uh, items here that are not plant-based, but they are healthier than buying like you know regular bratwurst. Mm -hmm. You know, this is uh, uncured sausage. And this is the one that I usually get, which is the chicken chicken sausage. They have uh, different flavors. This one is made with uh, bell peppers or with uh, spinach, and there's another one there with sweet apples. Yeah. So they're all really good. I make uh, sometimes when I make pizza. I put them Oh, that sounds delicious. With the non-bread, yeah. yeah. Very good. So just so you guys know, a lot of the organic meats are usually because um, they've been fed without any um, chemicals or not given any antibiotics. Um, and as soon as they're given, the animals are given an injection from a, a, by a vet, usually that declares they're no longer organic. Um, some are even grass fed and aren't even given like um, like pellet feed. Right. Now the downside is of course, I mean as you can see, this chicken that you would normally buy at the grocery store would be what, maybe three, four, five dollars the most. You could buy one for five dollars already cooked at like a, you know, a wholesale place or even stop and shop has them. This one is seventeen dollars and twelve cents. Right. So the, the, dif the difference in eating healthier, of course it, it is healthier to eat healthier but it's it's much more, more costly expensive. so you really gotta you know balance. balance it out and maybe pick and choose certain things to mean you know for everybody to eat on a healthier basis can be hard for many people especially with you know what's going on today in today's in the world today you know in regards to uh, you know family income and stuff like that but we just want to give everybody a, a tour of the, of, the, of the store and see what it what it what it entails to eat healthier so that's why I come to Mr. Um, Boone that we definitely come out um, plant-based because eating more plants and less meat right. is, you know, right, better right, financially right. Um, yeah. because it does take more resources to um, feed the animals. Correct. So, so it looks like we got a lot of um, yeah, organic we're, we're vegetables and stuff. Everything here in this store is organic. And when it comes to and when it comes to plants, you know, organic means that it hasn't been uh you know no insecticides or pesticides right, right. have been used on these vegetables. Right. So. Now, I was speaking to you guys so last week about uh, you know what I do when I get my vegetables delivered to my home. And this is the product that I use, actually. This is the one that's called the Fruit, oh. fruit and Veggie Wash, which I purchased Is this where here. you got it, Mr. Bone? This is where I got it. So uh, normally I don't get my produce from here. It gets dropped off at my house. There's a delivery coming on Saturday. So before we put it away, my wife will spray it down. If it's something leafy like this, you can take a solution of water and the, the veggie wash and let it soak and then towel dry it. So. Looks like there's some other things that I want to find, like, uh, what is that? Uh, is that These sprouts? Are sprouts? Yeah, Those are really different good. types of sprouts. These so. are chickpeas. Oh, there actually is um, a mix in here. It's chickpea, alfalfa. Sunflower, lentil. That sounds delicious. Oh. Yeah, it does. It does. So then make a great salad, or you could put it on your sandwich and add some yeah. crunch to it. 
Yeah. It being the fact that this store is relatively small, you know, most people they come in, they come out, they get their stuff in there, and they just, most people don't want to stay in the stores very long because you know because of the pandemic. So they get what they need and they get in line and they get out of the store. So I also want to point out that they have microgreens. These are really, really good to put on your sandwich. They have different flavors. So if you like broccoli, instead of putting like regular lettuce, you can put this on top of your sandwich. Yeah. They have cabbage, red Russian kale. They have a microgreen mix. So it gives it a different flavor for your own sandwich instead of just putting regular lettuce. And as you can see, if you get a little closer here, Mr. Delcher, see where it says over here? No need to wash, locally grown, ultra fresh, pesticide free. I mean, this is the reason why it costs a little bit more, but, Yeah, you know. it says 24 hours, so it's more nutrients because it's locally harvested. Correct, correct, so. yeah, yeah. So I really enjoy coming here. I mean, you know, I do not do my whole shopping order here because of the cost, but obviously, I mean, health-wise, it's mo more beneficial than going to, like, a regular supermarket. Yes, the guy. Organic, organic fruits. fruits. Um, again, organic strawberries. Um, mm -hmm. I always told us told me so that you want to try to buy organic things that don't have a skin. Like this, I may not buy it organically because it has a protective skin on the, on the part Correct. that I eat. But something like this, yes, I would probably be more beneficial to buy it because there, you know, there's no there, there's no protection from eating this. If I was eating Correct. a strawberry, I would just cut off the top and eat it. Right. As opposed to like an orange where I would peel it off and then eat it. Yes, absolutely. Cool. And dates are, are very good also. Um, my daughter tends to um, eat the dates. They have a high sugar content, so she'll have them with cream cheese. Yeah. Um, they're really good snacks. They are. Cool. And then we have we work our way down. We have uh, soy-based uh, milk, soy milk. We have coconut milk, uh, organic eggs. Organic eggs. eggs. We wheat. talked about eggs. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So. All right. So a lot of the um, the dairy here, is, um, some of it has probiotics, which are very good for your um, for your stomach, um, to promote good um, health. Um, and moving on to the milk, like you mentioned, the nut milk for people who have um, lactose intolerance. Um, I definitely like almond milk, coconut milk. And cashew milk. I like haven't that? tried the cashew milk. I did try the oat milk. That was great too. Yeah. I've had the soy milk, but without the sweetener, mm -hmm. and uh, a little tough to get used to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sour cream. Sour cream. Sour cream. Here we have fresh ground peanut butter. Normally there's four different kinds, but here we have almond butter. Oh. Right. We have natural peanut butter and we have honey roasted so what you do is you take a container and I'm going to get some of this and you put it underneath here right so this is ground up almonds right all natural no preservatives you hit the switch oh wow and there you go right look Fresh. at that huh? this is delicious Look at that, huh? So I'm going to get some of that, Mr. Belcher. Okay. That's great. All right. We have an array of nuts here, which is our very good source of protein. Uh, we Excellent. have cashews. We have um, pine nuts, which is good for making pesto. If you don't want to use pine nuts because they're generally a little bit more on the expensive side, you can always substitute walnuts right, in your right. pesto. Sure. All right. We have almonds, Brazilian nuts. We have pecans. Holy um, cow. You can make granola with these nuts and then you can add. Nuts, uh, look at the variety here. Yeah, and there's so really much variety. We have um, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds. When you make granola, you can oh, add toasted so coconut. Dried mangoes. Dried fruits. Yeah. Oh, these are my favorite chocolate covered raisins. Oh, so. my it's not healthy, Mr. Oh, so, right. so, actually, they are a little bit healthier because they are covered with dark chocolate. Yes, oh, I, and I love dark chocolate too. In the afternoon? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Good, good. Sure good. you do. So, All right. so you can't eat here. chocolate in the morning, so. Then we have our healthier bars. Oh. These are healthier protein bars. Yes. Okay. Have so many. 
Okay. Now we're going to work our way downstairs, Mr. Duncan. Oh, well, downstairs, huh? Right, so there, there, we're back, we're, we're still at the, uh, the health food store, and now we're in the basement. And as oh. you can see, this place is packed with healthy stuff. Look at that, bread. So, so we have more of the, um, you'll find fermented foods or more processed foods here. So tomato uh, soups and beans, uh, broth for our, so you can make soups. I had a, I'm sorry, I had a friend that, Ryan, my son that came over one time and he was gluten free. So I actually ran here and I got him some gluten free cookies, huh. which, uh, you know, made him feel more comfortable because he couldn't eat, you know, the gluten the as opposed to other kids so correct correct so yeah this is a great place to find um some of those specialty foods for people who have different uh, food allergies and i even come here for my dog oh okay so, so they have they have food um special food treats for the animals dog treats. oh okay. look at that wow let's see very okay, healthy dog treats i usually get them with these snacks over here dog food I didn't know Newman's made um, dog food. Healthy dog treats as well. Yeah. So oh. in, in the health food store. Yeah. In the hell. It's more like a natural living store. Well, Definitely. That's... This is more like a natural living store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where'd Miss Oko? Right oh, there right she is. Now. She's right. the. Oh, we got some frozen uh, pizzas and stuff too. Look at that, we have monthly... Uh, oh, there's a it? pizza show. It's yeah. a gluten-free pizza show. Yeah. Delta, sometimes... Are you still taping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes when I'm a little less... I want to spend a little bit less money, I go to the, the discount rack. Oh. The discount rack. And, um... Are these the bars? I've been buying these bars. Fruit-infused cherry almonds. Delicious. Delicious. And they're a little less expensive. So I come here at least once or twice a week and, you know, just kind of wander around because there's so much to look at. There's a lot of your all-purpose, I mean, your, um, your organic cleaners as well. I'm going to Mr. Boone, you are? and I will tell you, I love making pizza yeah. with plant-based crust. I've tried squash crust, I've tried the cauliflower crust, it's really, really good. Huh. Now, Miss O, I have a question about that. So yeah. what makes the crust... Isn't like a regular pizza crust, you know, plant-based because it's made out of, you know, wheat? What makes it... So it's more of a grain, right, instead of an actual vegetable. So that's really what the difference is. One is a vegetable, one is a grain. Oh, okay. And it so, contains less right. carbohydrates, right, Correct. of course. Correct. Oh. Yeah, so that definitely so has carb, way less carbs. The carb carbs. factor is much lower than yeah, that, as opposed to using flour. Absolutely. Or even whole wheat flour. It, uh, yes. And they, huh. and see, uh, we talked about, you know, chicken base and chicken broth, and here they have their own, own chicken broth. Wow. Huh. Local bone broth. Bone broth. Mm -hmm. huh. Some of the items that we've used in our recipes are right here. Yes, yes. So an all-natural right. cooking Want to go, go around that way? Yep, maybe? yep, yep. Hmm. Well, we got some, like, um, oils and dressings and... Different types of salad dressings. We have um, oh, look. coconut oil. And, uh, so I substitute a lot of coconut oil in some of my baking. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because it's healthier. Yeah. But I mean, look at the different choices. I mean, if you go to a regular store, I mean, you got six or seven different kinds of coconut oil, yeah. you know, all together here to choose from. So. There's definitely a lot of brands, even that I wouldn't see in the the natural aisle at like Shop. You know, right. Shop right now has. Like a natural aisle. Now, I do see ghee here, and I can tell you that. Jeez, I was just about to ask oh, you what that was. Oh, my gosh. So, it is a clarified um, butter, but I can tell you, when you get it fresh off the farm, it is the best ever. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, what we'll is it made out of? Huh? Okay. You have to get, get it from fresh from the farm. I had it last year um, from Essex Farm in upstate New York. It was so good. It's made from butter, Dan. Oh, okay. Just clarified butter, yeah. So it's and it's shelf stable? This one is shelf stable. So, I mean, I'd, I'd have to look and see what it was, but I actually had this one that was, was like fresh with, uh, from, uh, yeah, look at that. fresh from yeah. the farm. So yeah, these, these have mm -hmm. more, um, right. They're infused with different flavors. Huh. Nice. Really nice. 
And we had our grain lesson last week, and I'm oh. impressed that this has so many different kinds of trains here. Cool. We have millet, sorghum, which we talked about, yep. wheat mm. berries. Yep. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. Yeah, you guys will be watching that video on Friday. Yeah. Quinoa, barley. Basically, the one brought over to my home. Absolutely. Look, and there's the short grain rice we talked about. So, Mr. Oh. Boone will have to make some uh, yeah, recipes yeah. with these. I knew you were going to be a fan of this place. Huh. A lot of uh, so organic spices. Ahead, oh, Delta. spices. Oh, look at that. All frozen. You know, microwave, pop in the oven. Ice cream. Frozen. Even if it's conveniently. Frozen organic vegetables. So. I have purchased the uh, groundless, um, the meatless ground beef, and I've used it to make uh, like a lasagna <coughs> or something like that. Yeah. Um, and it's, I like it. So, so that's what I have. Oh, that honey, honey. I'm excited because we have our. We have a bee apiary at our school, and so we checked on the bees yesterday, and they are doing well. They are collecting a lot of pollen, nice. which is yellow and also orange-like, so it seems that they're collecting pollen from dandelions and the cherry blossoms. Um, but we have here some manuka. Um, this honey happens to be from New Zealand. Is that why yes. it's, that's, it's it's called manuka honey? Yes, it's okay, very, I see. very, very pricey. Yes, I see that. Um, oh, but yes, it's cow. supposed to have a lot of, lot of um, nutrients in it. Um, but it is very good to, you know, have local honey, of course, because um, we talk about everything being local and how it's more beneficial for us because the of the nutrients. The shelf life of honey lasts forever, there is no forever shelf right? Forever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's great. More. And again, we have more, more wheat uh, products. grains and flowers, um, whole grain products. So that's great. Um, I do want to point out agave is another uh, natural sweetener. Um, it comes from a plant that is similar to the aloe plant. So it looks like that, but it's really, really huge. Um, interestingly, that's also how they make tequila. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you see this? This is a maple syrup and like and a spray for wow interesting yeah yeah and it's organic huh dog food again All right and we have our i oh, come over and sometimes sauces. and i buy some of these organic uh chicken broths oh, so. all right we, we use this some of our recipes that we've been making yeah look at back that at, back at the house all right, and now Miss O is over to the, the oh, dairy. Dairy. You find no, your more dairy. There's definitely some of the fermented foods that I mentioned earlier. Okay. So, kimchi, oh. sauerkraut. They look like they have some delicious flavors here. Look at that ginger beet. They oh. also have some ruby sauerkraut. Looks delicious. It looks really, really it does, delicious. Really Butters does. and cheeses. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Vegan for the vegans. So. Tofu products. So. They no. have a really good variety. Mr. Boom for those that are vegan. They do, they really do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. More pastas, so. sauces. So. Yeah, they do have healthy convenience items, you know, like I was saying earlier, I mean, you know, it's it's very convenient. Sometimes, like, if I go to the shop, the, the, the healthy area is so limited, you know, to what you can choose from. A place like this is, you know, definitely easier when purchasing items like this. Yeah, I agree. I just wanted to show, to show you something. This is an old-fashioned, what they call a dove waiter. All right, they have these in hotels, and... Uh, you know, not usually made out of wood and box. Usually, it's a uh, stainless steel. And basically, if the kitchen was located on the ground floor, they could fill up, you know, a larger device like this and bring it up to the next floor of meals and stuff like that. Hot meals, you know, that were already like had covers on them and stuff like that, or, or trays of food. Instead of walking it up and down the stairs, all they do is load it on here. You know, it can be done, you know, with the pulley as this one is, or it also could be done, you know, electronically, which most, what's a lot of uh, food, uh, large hotels do have something like this. And again, this is what's called a dumbwaiter. 
Oh. Look, look, Miss O's got a full basket. Yeah, we get back, we get back, we'll do the menu. We'll show everybody the menu. Oh, we'll the menu. Some, you know, they, they usually make sandwiches. They got okay. salads, and sandwiches, smooth bowls, fruit juices, smoothies. So it's Just all no, done. Huh? The side is open though, so we can't do anything. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. 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 Look at all this. Huh? Everything, yeah. Miss O's got a full basket. Mr. Boone's got a full basket. Okay. Mr. Delta's going to Burger King. I'm, I'm going to Burger King. Huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, on our way out. Huh? Mr. Dodger and Mr. Boone are bananas. 